Hey guys, today we will talk about some Amaranth Cat cards that have dropped a lot. Now, pre-release is a very dangerous time to order singles. Pre-ordering singles without really knowing what the meta will be like is probably 95% of the time you're going to lose money. Alcatraz the True has already seen a huge decline in her price. Her price used to be $10. Now it is around $4.40. She continues to slip almost every single day. Very powerful body, very beautiful card, just probably not the meta that you want it to be in. The four to create a 1-1 what, a one, one white warrior creature, really kind of expensive in the current standard environment. There's obviously better ways and better planeswalkers you want to drop at four. If you compare this to Gideon, Gideon is stronger in pretty much every single sense, and he does not require you to use mana to produce the 2-2 Knight Ally. So overall, I can see why this card has gone down in price. I do like it. I think it is a powerful card, and should it slip, one of these gods will be sub $2 soon enough, and that will be interesting mythic to speculate on. And I, I like the card. I just didn't think it was worth $10, especially given what else is in the set. Now, the major, major loser is actually a Planeswalker called Nyssa. So the Nyssa Planeswalker started off at $36.70, and in six days only, had dropped to $16.87 and is continuing to plummet. It has been mentioned that in modern, it's not very good because you can blink it and it will die. It's also been mentioned that perhaps it's in a, it, the colors are too strange. Like the colors, you have to be Simic. And Simic, I can't remember the last time Simic has had a good deck. Bant has been a deck to be reckoned with, but Simic itself, I don't know. So. It has a lot of cool abilities. It can come down extremely fast on turn three if you wanted to. And the scry ability I feel like is a lot better than some people say it is. Scry two is very, very good, especially when it is plusing two every time you scry the two. I do feel like these cards will get cheaper she is not getting ally of Zendikar. Gideon is only about eighteen dollars now and he is a very, very strong Planeswalker. Therefore, the entire set's expected value is just going to plummet just like every other set. You cannot say this set, I'm a cat, it will be the exception where all the cards hold their prices when every other set you have two cards over. Most of the time, they're two mythics over $10. Some of the sets only have one mythic over $10. Talking about mythics over $10, we have another god that started off at 18 and has since dropped to about 11. This is probably the most hyped god, the green god, because it can curve extremely well. A 5-5 five five with death touch and indestructible, as well as giving itself trample and, you know, trample and death touch is pretty good combination. Uh, it cannot attack unless, or block, unless you control a creature of power four or greater. So people are thinking, Oh, well, in turn four, I can definitely curve and do something with that power, activate this, and attack for a ton of damage, which is probably true. Green has never had an issue with getting very strong creatures. Green has always had pr pretty much the best creatures in the game. Uh, the issue I feel like is removal is plentiful in this new standard. Uh, anything from Fatal Puss to Shock to, you know, if you're going to play a big creature, your opponent's going to have to respond to it some way, and control has the spells and the removal. You know, Grasp of Darkness is still in standard. There's just a lot of premium removal, including the one in Amaket that costs one in double black with the aftermath afterwards. So I like it. It's just very easy to make sure that it's not turned off. And next, we have Visor. This, when this card came out, it was like hotcake. It was a 20 buck card. And since that time, which has only been eight, nine days, it has just plummeted to $8 and I do not see it rising. The one, I mean, it, it comes down to simple expected value. 
the masterpieces are going to soak up a lot of value even if you don't like the way they look you don't need to because not not that many people not that many people need to buy masterpieces right that's really the secret behind masterpieces is there's so few of them that you don't need a bazillion people to go out and buy it or like it you just need a few and those few people can support the rest of the price and because the masterpieces are the way they are we have a situation where the cards at most there'll be two to three cards at most over ten dollars in this set so this is not one of them right it, this card is not going to be over ten dollars in the set given what the set is and i think it's going to go down some more i think it could see five maybe four it's a very casual card so it's definitely safe to pick them up at four and five but at the pre-hype price probably not worth it uh, all these cards have been just plummeting in price just slash off like 50 percent off boom 50 percent off and they've taken a beating which takes me to this one so this one a lot of people are extremely hyped on as for toad two in a blue at the beginning of your upkeep put a time counter on it uh, once each turn you may pay zero rather than pay the mana cost for a spell you cast where converted mana cost x or less where x is the time counters this is the card that single-handedly took down two modern decks uh, you had the breaking entering variety uh, with the fuse element and the beck and call the expertise decks so is it the real deal i think it's powerful anytime you read free it's going to be very good the qu the, the, the question is out of let's assume that there's two cards here over ten dollars but and one of them is gideon what's the other one there could not it could be that there is no other card here worth over ten dollars but if you watch my previous video you'll see that there is a pattern there is a logic you have your liliana's last hope which is the most pricey card in standard at 35 dollars. then you have your gideon and then you have and that's pretty much it i mean Combine those two cards soak up most of standards price point if you were to make a gauntlet of these decks Overall Now is not the time to buy unless do you want to take a risk and if you're going to take a risk I would do at the lower end at the maybe bulk 50 cents to a dollar and I hope that price goes up because sometimes they do but at the higher end This is not Elspeth Sun's champion. This is not voice of resurgence. This is not Archangel where you buy a card for $12 and it goes up to $40. That is never going to happen again. And the reason that's not going to happen again is because the the set. If you look at the set history since in standard, since Battle for Zendikar, since masterpieces have come out, there's just no value. There's no value beyond the top two cards of that set. And and that's it. Anyway, leave me a comment below with your pick for what is going to be the best card. Maybe I'm wrong, and maybe one of these cards is like $12, and then you buy it and it becomes $40 overnight. But I, I have a hard time seeing that. I think the last time I saw that, uh, maybe it was Liliana Last Hope, because she didn't come up as hyped. But even non-hyped, a Planeswalker is like pre-selling for $20, right? So you went from $20 to $35. Meh. And Liliana Last Hope actually did not have masterpieces in her set. So... Anyway, leave me a comment below of your favorite card to speculate on, and maybe, uh, and then you can keep it in the comment section with your timestamp, and if you did really well, maybe I'll send you something. Anyway, bye guys.